All right, let's uh, let's get back up into this one. Whew. So in the last part, we found uh, Hella for the first time, and um, Hella was a gigantic monster man thing, bald person. And she broke my sword and killed me in one shot. So, well, not kill me, but sent me into the ocean. And now we are underneath the big building, I think, I believe. But we can still run. Okay. So we're not too far away from Hella, I think. Look at it. There's a spirit. But I think, I think that's the main door where we went in. she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's in bell made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs. Errands out in the Orkney Plains. Her world. I like this one. Barren and lonely. I guess we're chasing the spirit. Getting a little backstory. But when she first met this dude, she was a shut in. She didn't go outside, she didn't do anything. Is there a face? Nice. Selena, there will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted. Like a strange little fish swimming against the tides of the big ocean. But have the faith to let go. And let the tide carry you away. Because the whole ocean is your home. It does not ask you to swim against it. All right, moving on. One second. I was just uh, taking off my headset. I feel like, or my headphones. I don't. I don't feel like wearing them right now. I don't really need to hear myself talking. So I'll just play without them for now. And make sure I talk right into the mic, just in case. Damn, he's way over there. Sword play under the shade of a tree. She remembered it the first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. The gloom lifted. For the first time in years, she felt. But he's like way far away.
Give me some more of that story. Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. You see that water? His father's hall was built around a great tree. And one day, Odin comes. That wave looks amazing. Tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only. I love it. That's a cool effect. His brother in law, King Sigir, wants it. But Sigmund refuses it. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast. But when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. I feel like this is the way I'm supposed to go. Oh, there's another one of these. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. I wonder if I'm even going the I mean I think I feel like there's only one way to go, but I also keep seeing things that kinda look like maybe there's just a lot of paths that lead to the same spot. You know? Maybe. Is he still underneath the tree? I do love these shipwrecks though. It looks really cool. Watching from afar, she mimicked him. Perfecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of life. Oh dude, we're almost there. I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh, Daniel's girlfriend. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. No one. Well, I I watched you, and you learned all of that from watching me. Because that's it. You should become a warrior. You know. Me? I'm Billy. I'm here for the warrior trial. Come on. Bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you, make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed. 
the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide in their terror. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel it. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! Jesus. Should I go into the tree? Can you see that? You want to believe it. Is he Probably. Is he mad? You're alone in I mean, whatever that blue light has to be something, right? Alright, we found it. Oh, I walked right by the entrance. My bad. There's three skulls. And what is that, a sword? Does this mean I can't grab the sword until I do the trials? The metal, the so there is one, you need that sword. Go to the two, shop. three trials, four trials. Okay, there's a few of them. All right. So, I guess we start with the trials, the next trials. I don't have a... I don't have my own sword to use though. I don't know what I'm supposed to fight with in the trial. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tierving. 
Hmm. I don't recognize this girl. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are On we? On a new island. Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury dead. Something so very ordinary. as if we conspired to hide death because we have no answer for it but when it comes and forces itself onto our friends or loved ones then comes the reckoning For the trials, like when oh, we first I met, remember? Mm, to the left. No, that one has light. Let's go to the right. I'm gonna go the dark path. Every time? Oh. So it just keeps repeating if you don't do it right. I can hear him. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herbert, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrvin. I don't know which direction to go anymore. I'm lost. Green and black. I'm going to go the green way. <laughs> Where are we? She has no idea. <laughs> you have fallen in love. You think that sound is Dillian's voice? Both ways are dark, so it looks like we haven't been either way. Can I light this one on fire? Nope. The screen's getting crazy. It's not there yet. Oh, shoot. 
Do we go into that red hell? Hell yeah, we do. I got an achievement. That was the whole challenge? The labyrinth? Not bad. See the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? Jesus. No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said it could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. Hmm. No wonder why she's so weird. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child. Take my hand. Come. Then run. No. I am leaving! cannot escape the darkness your curse will make everyone suffer you will have blood on your hands wow we made it Yeah, damn it. Where do I go? All right, second trial. Give his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness, there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Can you see me? No. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. A breeze. Good. And it is a way out. The others, the 
voices, they've gone. I'm still here. So quiet. So dark. Okay. Listen to your own breath. Get right in the hole. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Sense is guiding. I can't go on. Julian? Find a way. I'm not leaving you here. I think I'm somewhere else now. I think Reeves has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. This is freaking weird. Inside of me, it won't let me go. Senor, my father. Who, man? The hardest battles are fought in the mind. I really do feel blind. Why are there dead bodies in this river? to fight the freaking crow man guy again the bird man I think so Hate shit on my face. There's something in here. It's the bird man. Then it cannot be you. Quietly move up. One step closer. Hmm. 
What the hell is that? I wonder what that was. Do I have to just walk past these monster things? This is creepy. I'm nervous. Even my heart's pumping right now. This is crazy. Like, I'm really, I would be freaked out if one of those things grabbed me. I would jump so bad. As well. Don't turn back. You're getting close. Damn, dude. This is some weird stuff in this game, man. They they, they make some weird visuals. Put you in some weird situations, that's for sure. Kind of cool, though. Wow, there's dead bodies everywhere in this well. These monster things are all around me. Man, being blind sucks. I would hate that. Did we do it? We did it. Stupid achievement covering up the subtitles. You see me? Yes. Your eyes.
eyes were open, but you were gone. No one would find me, let her go. She could be anywhere, with no memory of how she got there. When it comes to me, I have more power. But here, for the first time, someone was there to help. found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. On to the next trial. What if this is the end? It's just a trick. If you miss this, you've been fooled before. You could be fooled again. Maybe it doesn't even matter. You don't know. It's just their game for you. You never know which way it's going to go. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him, only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. What could this one be about? The last one that gave us like a little hint at the beginning and talked about Odin losing his eye. This one, I don't know what it's going to be. Something about fair judgment. Oh, this looks cool. We're on another island. I guess we'll just go run to the light in person. Oh look, a face. Okay, so we do need to be in this face because then we can walk up the stairs. Can I go through this door? Nope. No oh, way. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him. Baldur loves him, she tells him. Only Loki, father of heaven and mistress of death, is not amused. The 
Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldaran. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything. Oh, I see what I'm supposed fire, to do. Water, iron, stone. I need to go over here, push the bridge down, change faces, and then I'll find it. Swear an oath. Once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Seno explored new paths into the unknown. You can't go up you there. You can't go up there. Not in this world. No. Not in this world. You can't. There it is. I knew it was something with that. You got it. Do you remember Why the way he, he stroked you? I'm going to go ahead and open all these gates here. While we're here. Okay, so I can't open the door in this world. So we got to switch back to the dark world. I know. I have to look at it at the right angle. Oh man, he went through the double door. Years have passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend. Dillian. She thought she could. She saw things. 
things no one else could. Patterns. Shapes. Even. An intuition that made him exceptional. Shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. We still won't that have no time for this. I got one. Medillion. The future. The door is locked. Should have known. So we'll go back into the light world, I guess. <laughs> she thought she had light within her when she she is The arrow's right here somewhere. Got it. themselves by throwing spears and stones at Balder, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Balder's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Balder's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. Oh, I was supposed to open that door. Ugh. You remember how he made you feel? Freaking can't believe I forgot to open this door. We can switch back to daytime. Remember Dillian. Go across here. Do you remember the sound of his voice? Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Balder. The blind god, Hood, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Hood says, I cannot see where Balder stands. And even if I could see him, 
I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here Loki makes a dart out of missile. Oh man. And goes to the gods as they throw things at Balder. The blind god, Hood, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Hood says, I cannot see where Balder stands. And even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Hood throws the mistletoe at Balder. It pierces through him. And to everyone's horror, Balder is killed. And for this, Hood is slain. All right, we did it. Well, it seems he needs me to go over there. Very, of very course. Dillion never much cared for the underworld. He looked dimly upon the druids, like her father, Zinbal. I guess he took after his father, the chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillion's arms. Learned to see the world through his eyes. Slowly. Darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're going to fall, Kev. But she's not. She's not going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Sinor. <laughs> I did it. I made it. I knew it. father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark for him means the littlest word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Do we fix them by taking away their sight? You give up the beautiful world that you, and only you, can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I'm not. I left all the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. All right. Killing you would be too easy. One more. Taking your memories to torture you. To take them away from your inner self. You're disappearing one memory. I don't know if we listen to this one yet. Next, the sweet honey from Sigmund's face. He bites the wolf's tongue. The she wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. What 
So this one's gonna be something to do with the plague? Or people dying? This one might be gnarly. What am I supposed to do? Just jump in the water? Yep. It's a test. Like the old warrior trials. Tell me if it'll help me. The stench of rock. This one's gonna be rough. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Gillian and the others. But the water. She could taste the rot. No one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like that. Yes, we have time to find her. Quick, get to the house. Get to the house and finish this trial. It doesn't finish until it goes into the abyss. It will disappear somewhere. Northmen speak of a death moon, a light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farmhand, and then the farm ass, now drowned. That one was a little tricky, but not too bad. That's not the whole trial, bud. There's no way. Whoa, I don't know what that is. There it is. Huh? It's close. It's close. Move away. Someone move away. Run. 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 What 
the hell is this? Damn, dude, this is freaking scary. Shit. Fuck, man. Like the whole game goes at one speed, and then all of a sudden you're at two speed. Makes everything harder. <sighs> man, fuck this game. Eyeballs are stinging. This sucks. This is what death feels like. They're coming. God. Ugh, man. <sighs> that part sucked. Shannon, what happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scarce. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. It doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. Made me 
All right, where to next? See, now the game's all slow again. It's freaking annoying. Halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. And the sword will lead me to him. I I'm going desperate. the wrong way. How do I get over there? I don't know if I ever looked at this one. Sigmund's sister trades shapes with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sindri. Alright, this is it. We're gonna get this freaking sick ass sword. My father was not supposed to die like this. Do you see it clearly now, Senwa? The suffering you caused. This is your fault. You brought this plague to us. You have blood on your hands. Crap, dude. We gonna do some fighting now? They're coming for you now. They're coming. They're coming to get you. At least the sword. What's up, big boy? Son, the sword is OP. In the sea of corpses, the corpse waved through itself over the ones I loved. The ship broke up under them. The ship that had sailed from the land of shining fields. Their memorial stone is sacred. Damn, those are all people's hands. Sun. Come not with a sword. Gross. Come not crying over a naked corpse. I think I'm ready for a break. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you've made it this far, uh. I'll see you guys next time.